So we have the first fish of the day. A tiny little, well not tiny, but a small, about, I'd say about 8 to 10 centimeter long common blenny. See that? Quite a dark one. Just fishing with small little bits of uh, fake ragworm in a little rock pool. Not this rock pool, not this rock pool. In a pretty big rock pool actually, now that I think about it. See that there? There's one big, deep, oh look, an edible crab. I don't know if that came out on camera, but that was an edible crab. See that? A pretty deep, big rock pool. And there's more than one of these common blennies. See there, that's just an edible crab. Um, there'll hopefully be some scorpion fish or gobies, but I'm happy enough with the common blennies. There's another one, at least one or two more, so hopefully we'll catch that one. And off he goes. See that? We've successfully caught a little edible crab. The little edible crab. I'm going to throw him back into the open sea. Because um, he will eventually grow up. So here we have a second fish. Uh, a little common blenny. Not very small, but not very big. This is what I was using. This was the rig. Just a very, very small piece there. The hook point is just barely hidden, just so that when the fish takes it, the the hook point will be in its mouth and I can just jerk it and set the hook. And there we have him there. So here we have the trap and we have a prawn. This is most likely a female common prawn. Definitely a common prawn. They're quite big prawns. I think that maybe, maybe the biggest species in the UK. There we have it. You can immediately see by their sort of banded little legs. And then there's long, long, long antennas and sort of stripes. No, they're usually grey, orange, brownish, sometimes a reddish brown sort of colour. Usually depends on the seaweed that they've been living on or living with. Um, they mainly scavenge and they'll even, they, they take up a habit of actually living outside of dens of congreels. So that when a congreel eats something or prey catches a little fish or something, they'll come and eat all the little bits and pieces left behind of the prey of the conger eel. So yeah, there you have a little, well, not little, but a nice sized common prawn. So you can see actually there, usually when it's dark like that on the outside, it means they're pregnant. And you can see its eggs. You can just about see them if you lift up this part here. But that dark, dark stuff there, under these little sort of flappers that kind of keep the eggs attached those are little eggs so this is actually a pregnant common prawn it's actually quite common that we catch um, these prawns always they're very often pregnant I've caught multiple of them in past videos in traps like this they're usually baited with mackerel or fishy stuff we are using scad frozen scad also known as horse mackerel so yeah there you have it so here we have, in our trap, we have one fish of a little gold cine wrasse. These, in certain areas, they are, whoops. In certain areas, I was saying, they are very, very common. Some places may not have any of these. And it's usually places with significantly deep water, say about at least five meters. Rock marks, typically with a lot of rocks and seaweed, will have a lot of these fish. You can catch about 10 to 20 of them in traps. They mainly feed on small crustaceans, so crabs, barnacles, and um, also on little worms if they get the chance, so like ragworms. And uh, to catch them on hooks, you need very, very small hooks. Let me give you a close-up. They are often a sort of brownish color. This is the typical peach brownish color. They can be sometimes greenish blue. And you can see those teeth there. These teeth. 
will be crunching up on little crabs and barnacles which they can rip off the rocks and crunch up. They're very pretty fish and you can tell them apart because they usually have I think they usually have a spot somewhere maybe this one doesn't have one but I'm pretty sure they have a spot on their tail unless that's another species of wrasse These fish are actually full of spikes, a lot of wrasse species, see? Especially on their bottom fins here, they have spikes. And they have pretty sharp fins in general. These guys will bite, they are quite feisty for such a small fish. So be careful when you handle them. You should quickly release them, they don't spend much time out of water. They are wrasse after all and they don't, they're not really adapted for uh, spending lots of time out of water. So look at this guys, we have an amazing scorpion fish, long spine sea scorpion. We caught it in our trap, uh, baited with I think just scabs, also known as horse mackerel as I said before. That is a very 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 red long spine sea scorpion, very similar to one that I caught on the same mark in one of these previous videos. Um, it was a bit darker. But see that, an amazing fish. You can see the spikes on the side of its head. Usually when they feel threatened, they'll spike up. Now he's pretty calm in the rock pool, so they're probably lying flat against his flanks. But um, if I were to bring him out, which I will do just now, see that? Just puff those out, big spikes there. Those two spikes. And if they're long spine sea scorpions, they should have a tiny little, see this here, probably quite hard to see, but it is a tiny little sort of um, barb on both sides of its mouth. And this is only in long spine sea scorpions, not short spine sea scorpions. See that amazing fish if I put him back in. He'll probably start relaxing and those spikes will go back down against his sides. We're gonna be releasing our long spine sea scorpion. This is probably the average size, they do get quite bigger. Um, usually but this is a very common size so a bit like chameleons they will change color depending what they're sitting on um, this was prob this guy was probably just sitting on some red seaweed as you can see quite patchy little marks there probably to blend in with the, the seaweed against the rocks and they usually have amazing bellies see that sort of golden colors there so anyway, I'm just going to throw him back in.